cells are very small. How small are they? Well, a red blood cell is one kind of cell in your body. Under the microscope, you can see the red blood cells are these circular objects. Blood is mostly water with dissolved nutrients and cells. If you had a tiny drop of blood, about the size of a pinhead, you would have about half a million red blood cells. To get a sense of just how small these cells are, if this were the size of a real red blood cell, then I would be about a mile tall. We are going to talk about three important reasons why cells have to be small. Each reason tells us something fundamental about how the world works. The first reason has to do with atoms and molecules. Cells are matter, and matter is made from tiny particles called atoms. The atoms are usually grouped together into molecules. A good example is water. A water molecule is two hydrogen atoms attached to one oxygen atom. Water molecules are so small that 50,000 of them can fit across the width of a cell. Cells live by directly manipulating molecules. Inside every cell are structures that work with different kinds of molecules. These structures are called mitochondria, and they extract energy for the cell from the food. The nucleus is a structure that contains the cell's genetic blueprint in DNA molecules. The size of each structure is determined by the size of the molecules it works with. That means the structures inside a cell tend to be no larger than a few hundred times the size of their target molecules. One reason cells are so small is that molecules are small. It takes at least a few million or so molecules to create an organism complex enough to be alive. A single-celled organism, like euglena, is about the smallest collection of molecules that can accomplish all the different reactions it takes to sustain life. 